Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can use Textual to create a very small application that you can use to ask for user passwords in your scripts. And so the way I'll start this off is by showing you that I have a very small script here. It's two lines of code. I'm asking the user to type its password, type their password, and then I'm asking for it with an input. And if I run this, what is going to happen is I'm going to be printing the message, I'm asking the password, and when I'm typing things, I can see what's being typed. And so there will be a log of what was typed. So this is probably not a good idea. And you can actually use just a little bit of textual to make this much nicer. Like a thousand times nicer. For three times the code, you can make this a thousand times nicer. So it's a pretty good ratio. So I have a, a file here for an empty app and what I'll do is I'll, well, I'm going to define an app. So I definitely need the app class and we're going to put everything. So I'm going to need a container from containers. Lately, I've been doing this mistake a lot. I need a couple of widgets and I'll need a model screen and a couple of widgets so let's import an input for the user to type the password and a label let's sit straight on the chair otherwise i'm going to kill my back and now let's say that the uh, password screen is going to be a model screen just to make it look nicer and this model screen is composed of the container that's holding everything the label that says type your password and the input where the user types the password and very important is set password to true and so my pwd app that's going to return a string which is the password the user password needs a when i'm mounting the screen sorry i'm thinking when i'm mounting the screen I want to, sorry, when I'm mounting the app, I want to push the screen. So I want to push that model screen, the PWD screen. Exactly. And also I forgot I need to handle input submissions. So from textual we're going to import on, not one, on. And on input dot submitted. I'm going to exit app with the password, right? So I'm going to take the event and I'm going to exit the app with the password. So this will make sure that it's not self, self.app.exit. This will make sure that when the app exits, the user or the, the program can work with the password from the user. And so my application, when the app is mounted, I'm going to push the screen. And I think this is all I need. Let's just make sure that this looks nice. Now let's open this file. Oh, actually, I forgot to delete the CSS. So I was obviously I was making sure that everything's going to work. So the CSS we're going with is we're going to center on the password screen. We're going to be centering things and so then the container that's containing the label and the widget is going to have some padding, it's going to have a width that's shorter than the, the whole screen and then the, the height is going to be automatically computed and the background I'm setting it to this color. Just uh, some CSS to make it look slightly nicer. And so what I can do then is, in my script, instead of asking for the password in this way, what I'll do is from my app I'll be importing my PWD app and I'm going to say that the user password is the result of pwapp.run and now obviously this is not supposed to you're probably not printing the password afterwards but I want you to see the password here so let's say print we've gotten the user password and then let's print it and so if I run my script now when I run the script, I'm running the app, so the user can type their password here, and it's not visible, right? And when I press enter, we see the print message from the script itself. So we've gotten the user password, and this was the garbage that I typed in. 
by the way, I don't usually use this as my password, so no need to try and hack my accounts. And so I think, in my opinion, and I'm sure you agree with me, this is a very short way, it's a, it's a very short app that makes this type of interaction look much nicer. And in this particular example, I was asking for some, I, I was asking the user for a password, but you can use these short apps to ask whatever information you need from the user. It doesn't have to be a password, it can be anything you want. And then just make sure to use the app exit so that the application exits with the information that your code will need later. And so you do the app exit here and in your code you just grab the results from the run method. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you make good use of this feature and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.